My name is Andrew Gary, and I am the SEG Wiki Editor. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to create your own user page, upload an image, and then add this image to your user page. To get started, we are going to visit wiki.seg.org and sign into SEG's single sign-on system. If you have not yet registered with SEG, click on Register in the top right corner of the screen next to the Sign In button. Registration is free and will allow you to make contributions to the SEG Wiki. You do not have to be an SEG member to make contributions. I am now going to sign into the Wiki. And at this point, I will be redirected back to the SEG Wiki homepage. To get started, we are going to get directed to your own user page that we are going to create today. So in the search bar in the top right corner of the screen, type special colon my page. Now the capital M and capital P is important, so please take note. Hit enter or return, and this is the user page that we are going to create. So click create. Now to make it a little easier for you, I have created an outline of your user page. So open up a new tab. In this case, I already have a tab open. Go back to the search bar, type in user colon A Gary. Again, the capital A here is important. Hit enter or return. This is my own user page. Under contents, click testing ground and then click sandbox. And this is the outline that we are going to use. So click edit and then put your cursor in the box. Hit control A, command A on a Mac. We're going to copy the contents here, go back to your user page, and in this box, push your cursor and paste in the contents. We now have the outline of our user page. I'm going to scroll up here all the way to the top, and where it says display title my name here, I'm going to add my name. This is something that you will not need to do on any of the other pages in the SEG Wiki, just your user page. And there you go. We have a great outline of a user page. Feel free to add under each of those sections as you see fit. Feel free to remove some sections, maybe add additional ones, and we will post a couple user profiles in the description of this video so you can see some great user profiles in action. So now the next step is I'm going to show you how to upload your own photo. So go back to the tab we have opened here, and on the left-hand side of the screen, under Tools, click Upload File. Click Choose File and a new window will pop up. In this case, the photo that I want is immediately popped up. I'm going to double click it. You'll see an example of it on the right hand side. And in this summary, just write a brief summary of what the photo is for to help others out. So in this case, I'm going to just say Andrew house sitting in South Carolina. That would be me. You do not need to worry about these other check boxes or this drop down menu here. Click upload file. And great, we have uploaded the file. So before we leave this page, we are going to highlight the top of this page here, the file name, and copy this content. So control C, or you could also right click and copy, and then go back to your user page and put your cursor where you would like the photo to appear. In this case, I want it to appear near the top. So we're gonna start with double open brackets and then paste in the file name. And at this point, if I close it with double brackets, everything is fine. If we hit show preview right now, you will see the image as it appears on that file page. But I want to add some parameters to make it display a particular way. So I'm going to go back inside the brackets, add a pipe bar, add the word thumb, and in this case what thumb will do is make it a thumbnail size, 150 pixels, align it on the right hand side of the page, and allow me to write a caption. So I'm going to add another pipe bar and then add a caption. So in this case, Andrew house sitting. Wonderful. So at this point you will have added different things under these headings here, added the photo, and we're going to click show preview to see what this page is going to look like. Clicking show preview is always a good practice to get an idea of the changes that will be made to the page. So in this case you see the photo over there with the caption, you see the section headings, and currently I have not added anything there, but you will see that. Here is your sandbox for you to play around and, and test out different things as well. And once you get satisfied with what you see here, add a brief description in the edit summary. This helps other users know what you did to a page. So in this case, I'm going to say added user page, added photo. I'm satisfied with this page, so I'm going to click save page. And there you go. You have created your first user page. As you can see here, here is the display name Andrew, 
Here is the photo, the different section headings that I have. And just to show you a complete profile, this is Rhonda Jacobs. She is the program manager for Geoscientists Without Borders. She has a photo over here with a caption and various other links and information under her headings. We will also link a couple other users that you can get an idea of, of different things to add. So I thank you for watching this video and for learning how to add your own user profile. We will have additional SEG Wiki help videos in the future, so stay tuned. And if you would like to learn more about how you can start contributing today to the SEG Wiki, check out the links in the description of this video. Thank you for watching.